Hi guys, welcome back to But You Don't Look Sick. Today we are not talking about autoimmune conditions, we are talking about endometriosis. That annoying thing that gives you extremely bad period pains. And I mean being on the floor type period pains, vomiting type period pains, real big blood clots um, type period pains. I've dealt with it for about two years now and I've been told by the doctor that there's only two things I can do to treat it. That's four, two, don't want to swear. Um, and one is having a laparoscopy to check if it is endometriosis giving it like the major diagnosis and then maybe like sorting it out there or going on birth control pills in order to stop the pain now number one haven't had the surgery yet because uh with graves disease i don't really want to be going down the route of getting injected with anesthesia and they also told me that if they if i have a laparoscopy um there could be bowel issues like as a side effect so i'm just trying to avoid the surgery route and then on the flip side with birth controls i don't like to put pills in my body so i don't take birth control it's just quite annoying for me i don't want to do either one if you've done it let me know how the situation was let me know how you felt about it did it hurt like did you get any side effects maybe i'll consider it but it's just something that i just think i don't really want to be doing so um i sort of like to test the waters with my health i like to put foods in my body take foods out of my diet and see if that will change it and one thing i realized when i had a lot of sugar and dairy during my period i would be in extreme pain so for the first two weeks before my period i get like period type pains anyway but as it gets nearer the first day don't really feel anything the second day oh a little bit of touch third and fourth day is the worst and so i realized when i kept eating things with sugar or dairy in it it's like it caused an inflammatory response and my period would go haywire and i'll be in extreme pain so what i did one day i just took it out of my diet i was like i'm going to take it out of course that was to do my autoimmune condition as well i just wanted to feel better within myself and just feel like a human being again with no pain and i started to have like vegetable juices in the morning um, a lot of water so i'll drink like a gallon of water a day lo and behold and i'm not even joking no pain no pain and the blood clots were not as thick as well so it got me thinking is there a link between sugar and endometriosis of course including the dairy as well please test it take sugar and dairy out of your diet for 30 days have vegetable juices two weeks before your period if you can't do the 30 days drink a lot of water and let me know if you get any pain another thing that i realized as well was exercise the exercise seems to help now endometriosis the doctor told me that it means like she said something about two wounds but i don't know what that's about but it means like some of the blood is getting stuck it's not com coming out properly. So once I started doing yoga and Pilates and moving around during my period, it's like it brought it all down. So all this endometriosis business, I honestly feel like if we change our diet and we exercise a lot more, you're not gonna like be in pain as much. Please let me know if you've tried it and let me know if it's helped it because I, I really think there's a, there's a link between the two. Again, this is what's helped me. It might not help you, but please try it if you're suffering from extreme pain the doctor's not helping you at the moment take sugar and dairy out of your diet for 30 days exercise as well do a bit of pilates and yoga you can do it for free you can go on youtube actually click on a gym workout straight after this video after you go through my channel um and try it and even like like this if you want me to show you some of the moves i do in order to get all that release because i'm telling you it really really works thank you so much for watching this video click on but you don't look look sick uh, to subscribe to more see you later